Hello all, welcome to another Blackonomics Let's Play. Today I'm going to be taking a look again at Gods Unchained. I had a lot of fun playing it uh, a few months ago, and uh, since then they've reintroduced their God token. Um, so I'm looking to see if I can earn some and uh, uh, get some collectible items on the blockchain uh, from my gameplay. So uh, we're going to keep on grinding away at that, uh, doing some ranked games, and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start playing. Entering in the queue. Let's see if I can get a... Ah, and there we go. I've got a match already. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it started. All right, let's see. I'm not sure if a bunch of stuff has changed since it looks like... Um, hasn't so i'm gonna go ahead and continue going with slayer again uh, the idea being that i'm gonna hit the um their god for quite a bit all right let's see um, going to place this one place this one nope replace it once more let's hope that i got something good Get All right, perfect. I got something good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Got one action. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put into play the Foil Blood Outlaw. And then end my turn. He's got some good health. Um, so I don't think, well, since the other character won't be able to attack him right off the bat. Um, should work out well. So he has played... Ah, so he does have a Blitz, so that means he can attack right now. That's unfortunate, but it would kill both cards. So, um... It's that time again. Ah, interesting. He did not attack. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Play Fury... Um, yeah, I'm going to play Fury on to Blood Boil Outlaw so that he has three I'm going to attack him. Oh, and it kills him because it's health. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that was a dumb, that was a dumb play. I, I made a mistake. Sure. Silly me, I forgot about the health. It's the health that matters, not necessarily the strength. I should have done that in a different order, but that's okay. Mistakes will be made. I still believe that I've got the upper hand right now, maybe. Um, so we will see, let's see, what is this? So he was, ah, he used one of his tokens to play two cards. Not good, not good at all, but, uh, at last. Be okay. So I've got three now, so I can bring out my Hoplite. Hoplite. And... I'm just gonna start hitting. I'm gonna just start hitting his god. I, you know, like the one thing that I found uh, that I remember from playing before, you know, the... Um, uh, Hitting the god, ignoring the frontline units, hitting the god sometimes works. Of course, if they get too many units, then, then that can be a problem. But uh, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. So he hits my hoplite because he can't attack my god. So there goes my hoplite, but that's okay. Shit happens. Ah, he activates his power. It's that's not good. Ah, uh, now I am not in a good position. <laughs> But, uh, I'll put that down. Let me go ahead and give him Blitz. So now he can attack this turn. Let's see. Oh, that's a problem. That is a big problem. That is not possible. Because he's gonna get... He's gonna get killed. Well, let's kill her. 
he goes and they attack the god. I've got the impling, so I mean he does something. Uh, and then I'm gonna end my turn. Defiance will earn you nothing but chains. All right, so I've hit him for four. He's hit me for zero. He's definitely got more players on the uh, on the board. Uh, a lot more players. A lot more players. He's uh, he's definitely got me in a corner. I think he might pull this off, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, he's got a lot of healers. That's interesting. Not good. Not good at all, my dear friend. Alright, I got five. I'm gonna bring out. I gotta bring out the Chrysalis. Let him sit. Um. I don't want to sacrifice characters for no reason, so I've just got to keep on hitting them and uh, hope that I can hold out long enough. So let's see, he could do me two, four, six, nine damage this turn. Well, I can do him nine damage as well next turn. So it's going to be a close game. He hits me for two, hits me for another two. Is he gonna hit all against me? I mean, which is probably a smart plan. TBH. Next turn though, I can probably activate. It's that time again. Interesting. Deal one damage to each of your creature, to each of their creatures. Oh, this was interesting. I'm going to go ahead and play Flame Caller first. It's a back line. Um, and then... Ah, so he decides to kill that instead. That's unfortunate. And I have... I don't have enough okay. mana. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. I'm not feeling too good about this one. He's definitely got the upper hand. Unfortunately, my bear decided to hit one of his cards. Now, I mean, that does mean he can do less damage against me, but, uh... Oh, and that was a healer, so that's good to know. So he's gonna hit me for everything he's got. Is he not going to attack? Okay. So then he plays his card. Everybody gets hit for one, so that's nice. Um, and actually, that's gonna kill off everybody, isn't it? I'm gonna go ahead and play that. That kills a whole bunch of people. That protects my creatures. So that's nice. That's, uh, that's really nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and activate my small bag of tricks and hit him for two. And then I'm just going for it because I can deal a shit ton of damage there. And so now I'm beating him by 10 points and he just lost almost his entire hand. So that was actually a very good move by my part. And I'm feeling pretty good about this one now. I am feeling pretty good about this one. All right. So he brings out his rotting mount. <laughs> It does sure look rotting. Um, we'll see, he hits me for two. Is he just gonna hit me for six? Because he, if he does, he's dead. It's that time again. And that kills the other creature. Thank you, my uh, flame caller. You're doing pretty good. And let's see. Interesting, but let me bring out my raid revealer. And then finish this off for the victory. I have succeeded. Complete victory. I pulled that back from the end. Thanks to my wonderful strategies that are... Oh, I'm now level 5. Halfway to level 6. That's pretty good. I earned some more flux. I'm going to go ahead and continue. 
don't know what this galactic veil is. That's me. Ah, okay. So that gives me some more. Oh, and I'm shielded. I have increased my rank. I am now a rusted iron. That's nice. So let's see. Gathering flux. So... Ah, I see. So I unlock gods as I move around the, the circle. And then I can use flux to... Uh, to... Get some new stuff. So I guess I've got some new gods. Um, let me look at my collections. Going to enter in again, enter in the rank. Let's get another queue going and get another game going. Um, so while I'm in queue, the idea is that you can, oh, I am going in game, nice. I do have to say that I do enjoy that the queues are so short. That's a really nice thing. It's nice to see that people are, uh, are playing this game a lot. Because it definitely is a fun game just to, you know, chill out, to play some card games, uh, you know, if you don't have um, people to play things like Magic the Gathering, other collectible card games um, in person, this is a great way to do that. Okay, so this guy is uh, rank 4. I'm a rank 5, I believe. So, I enjoy my deal 2 damage to the opponent's gods. Although, give 1 strength and deal 1 damage to one of your creatures. No, that's not useful. Don't want to hit those. So I've got my thing going. Let's see what he chooses. Um, Actually, this seems like a good start. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep these. It's also useful to so the Dockside Prowler. Because he's got hidden, he's going to be a useful opening uh, card, opening play. Because the guy's not going to be able to yes, see him, um, so that's uh, that's cool. Good luck. So I'm going to go ahead and play the thank you, thank you, God, uh, for saying good luck. Let me go ahead and play that. End my turn. It's interesting. I always get chosen to go first. I don't know why. I would kind of enjoy the three action tokens that allow me to go that what I get when I go second, but uh, I keep on winning, so. It's that time again. Wild Hog, interesting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play Fury. So then that increases him to three. I'm going to attack the god straight off the bat. I still got one token left. Oh, I hate doing this. But I'm gonna use my mana already and just hit him for two. Hit her for two. We must find peace. That's probably the didn't want that mana right anyways. I'll be able to bring in I think I'll be able to bring in the hunt warden uh, next turn. This guy can check anything else. Mm, that's right, it doesn't activate anything. Okay. Uh, wow, a lot of mana. Really, only one point apiece. Wow. Okay, looks like that, uh, he attacks my god. That's fine, expected that. Alright, let's see, do I want to do the Hunt Warden? And then check it. I'm gonna do the Hunt Warden, pull him out there. That is not possible. Can I not attack the... Apparently, I can't attack... Huh. Well... Let me go ahead and take out... Huh. Okay, let me take out that guy. Both gonna die, but that's okay. I'm gonna end my turn. Don't know why I couldn't attack the god, but, uh... He gives him less was attacked, so that's okay. That's okay. Let's see if he goes after my game warden. I don't think he would, because he would die from it, but uh, let's see, so he doesn't. So he hits me, so now I'm beating him, or he's beating me by one point. Not the greatest, but uh, I got a few tricks up my sleeve. So... If he ends his turn. Oh, he still hasn't played cards. Yeah. Let's wait for him to play his cards. So he brings out his own game warden. That's not wonderful. But uh, we'll play with it. Ooh, I can't wait to use him. So I've got four. Let me go ahead and 
play the Poison Peddler and attack him for three. Still not in the greatest of positions, but then I can do Overproof Brew. That increases their strength a lot. That'll come in handy. I mean, it'll hit everybody for one, but my creatures are relatively high health right now, so I'm not too worried about it. But let's see what he, it, he does. He definitely has the upper hand right now, unfortunately. But uh, so did the guy the last game. So, you know, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe I can pull through. We will see. Let us see. So he's interesting. He sacrificed... He sacrificed both of his war... Oh, it was probably the 50-50. Yeah. That's probably what happened. So, let's see. Ah, he marks me. It's not the best. Okay. Get My ready. turn. So I got five. Let's see, two, four, five. Okay, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Because... I'm going to deal three damage to a damaged character. Ah, I can't play that. Fuck. Should have looked at that closer. Ah, but I can. You know what? I'm just gonna sacrifice him. And we both die. And then I think I'm in a much better position than I was. So. We're gonna play with it like this. Gonna see what happens. Gonna see what happens. Ooh. First time you summon a creature, deal two damage to your opponent. Shit. That's a guy who I wanna kill. That is a guy who I want to kill. Oh, so let's see. I just need to get him hit for two, and then I can kill him with this. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and play Unbridled. And then we gain one. We got one token left, but... Well, oh no, because it has to be damage. Damn. I'm wasting all this mana. <sighs> Well, I get six next round, so I can bring out Overproof Brew and Vicious Friend. That'll hit him for one. He only does two damage, although she's gonna do two damage to me this turn if she, when she summons her, a creature. You say, assume that's what's gonna happen. Though that's not, yeah, okay, that does do two damage. Frontline can't attack. Oh, okay, so I've got to hit that first. That is very unfortunate. <sighs> I am not liking this setup. Not liking this setup at all. I am not happy. This is very unfortunate. All right, let's see. Back line. Let's see, use one. But... Overproof brew. Do one damage to each creature. I can't do that. Okay, then I'm gonna do vicious rend and destroy that. And then Oh, it's so tempting. It's so tempting just to hit him for seven. But I gotta do it. That two damage each turn was gonna fuck me. Alright. Now it's their turn. They're up to six now. Yeah, and he hasn't used any of his mana tokens. I'm not sure whether he knows how to use them, or whether he's just, uh... 
I'll bring in the flame caller next round. Unless I get a better card. Deal one damage. Ah, okay, so it deals damage to her frontline unit. That's not good. I should have damaged it. Yeah, but then I would have gotten six damage to me, so this is probably a good thing. And this was probably a good thing. Ah, there we go. So I'm gonna bring out Flame Collar. Going to bring out Deadly Arsenal. That heals her a bit. <laughs> it's a bummer, but I'm going to attack that frontline unit. And then in my turn. And I will get seven points next turn, so I can bring out the Twin Horn Rider. So then I can knock out those two units as long as she doesn't heal them up. We definitely built up a very strong defensive position. Um, so. It's not the greatest, but. Oh, that kills them both. Damn. Okay. Ah, that's... Oh, okay. Ah, shoot, and that's gonna kill. Damn it. That's a very useful power, Salinas Mark. Deal one damage, heal your god for one. Another frontline unit. Set the portable fortress's strength to zero at the end of each turn. Okay, well, that's just uh, shite. Two arms. Okay. Well, I'll play my twin horn rider. Hit him. Hit him again. That kills that. And I gotta pray that I don't get hit on this next uh, turn. Because I gotta set up my guys on an attack. It's not looking great right now. All I have to tell you, it's not looking great. Okay, so she does one as Mark. Makes sense. I mean, I'd heal myself too, if I could. Ah, she's gonna run out of time. She has to make a decision soon. She's gonna run out of time. Okay, that sets it back a bit. Another frontline unit! Jeez, how many frontline units can he have? So let's see, three, four, five, six. Okay, protected. And I'm going to. Two strikes, lights. No. Go ahead and give it to him. And I hit the god for two. I'm going to kill him. And then one. And two. And that's the end of my turn. Now I'm in a much better position, thankfully. I'm looking a lot better now. I'm in a relatively protected position. Selena's mark, as expected. Hit me for one, heal her for one. Let's see what else she does. Another wall! How many walls does this deck have? Seriously? How many walls does this deck have? Oh my god. I'm spending most of my turn hitting walls rather than hitting a god. Ooh, boy. Six regain. Wow, okay. Well, I gotta kill it this turn, that's for sure. Two arms. I've got nothing to do. Kill that. Right. Let's see. Kill that. Kill that. Hit the god. Okay. 
Good thing is he hasn't been hitting my guys. So, really use some cards. Like the wilderness does not forget, and it does not forgive. Oh, it doesn't? Well, <laughs> you're gonna die, so I hope you forgive. Lena's mark again. Gonna kill off my. Oh. Why? Oh, it's a random enemy creature. Aha. Uh -huh. That's interesting. I got lucky with that one. Because the Twin Horn Rider's only got one health left. She's gonna run out of time. She still hasn't used any of her extra mana potions. I wonder if she knows about them. I wonder if she knows about them. No? Doing the strength. And it boosts her up quite and it makes her a frontline unit. Oh my. Well. And for two, wish I had things that had more mana, but alright. Sacrificing a lot of units here. But such is life. Yo, I'm in a bad position again, but, but, I'm definitely in a lot of better health, and as long as this creature doesn't die, I can hit it for two. What's this? Dark oh, Maniac. It's that time again. Random main character. Ha! Wonderful. Another Blood Boil Outlaw. Perfectly useless. Oh, if I can last one more turn. That's all I need. One more turn. It's the circle of life. Yeah, one more turn. Another fucking frontline. How many? Seriously, does she just have a shit ton of frontline? Oh, rip. Well, one more turn. That's all I need. One more turn. One more turn. Come on. And your turn. And your turn. Ah, uh, that's it. I have one. I have one. Oh, you can't do it because oh. I can't do that. Shit, I haven't won. Uh, I forgot about that front line. One more turn. One more turn. Apparently. Oh boy. Wish I had better cards. How many cards do I have left in this deck? Oh no, and it kills- ah! That makes me angry. It's just delaying the inevitable. Just give up- oh, I forgot about these. Uh, I forgot about these very much. Two, two, yeah. How much do I have? Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, at last. Okay, that's also a front line. But let's pull in. You want two damage from every creature and one damage from any. What does flank do? After any character, ignore front line and back line. Okay, well. This ends it, so I'm going to do that, then just for shits and giggles, I'm going to kill him off, and I've won! I've done it! I have done it! Can't believe I forgot about those side cards that give you bonuses, spend the favor that you earned during the match. Alright, let's continue and see what I picked up. Level seven, that's me. Or level six, not level seven. Super giant file, that's useful. Got some more flux. What did I get in the super giant? That was it. Count more last time. And now a rusted iron. And yeah, so how many flux do I need to
Don't know how much flex I need, but that is definitely something that I'm looking to in the future. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, getting closer and closer to getting enough flux to be able to uh, get some new items, get some new super cards. Definitely having fun with Gods Unchained. It's a fun game, enjoying the rank system, and I'm feeling pretty lucky. I've been doing pretty good with it. Um, ooh, interesting. Wildfire. Deal one damage to each of your opponent's creatures. Give plus one, plus one, and regain plus one to your wild creatures. I might have to include that in my uh, my setup. But yeah, so I'm having fun here. It's, uh, it's a good game. Definitely worth it. Uh, if you want me to continue this series, uh, let me know. I'm certainly happy to keep on playing it if you guys want me to keep on playing it too. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.